Hi, this is Paul, and in this video, we'll be going over the iXoft PC Master Station software. The iXoft is an application that runs on your PC and acts as an iX Series Master. It shares all the features that an iX MV7 has, as well as a couple of features exclusive to the iXoft. When we open the iXoft, we are presented with the Favorites window. The Favorites window displays all speed dial buttons that we've created. You can create up to 50 different speed dial buttons within the iXoft. There are different tabs in the Favorites window. To start, the All tab displays all the speed dial buttons that we've created. The Call tab displays the buttons that we have set up for various master stations. In this example, we have buttons for tech support, front desk, and the shipping office. The Page tab has speed dial buttons that allow us to make paging announcements. You can have it set up with a different button for each paging zone that you have. In this example, we have all page setup, emergency page, and pizza. The pizza button is a message page button that we have pre-recorded. The monitor tab shows us various door stations that we can monitor. For example, let me click the side door. We could then click the talk button to establish communication or click the record button. The key button will activate the door release. To end monitoring, just click the hang up. This will take us back to the all tab. Besides monitoring individual stations, we can scan monitor a group of stations. This can be set up by the end user or when the system is configured. It will spend a few moments at each station and then move on to the next. You can also incorporate Onvif Profile S cameras if you'd like. By default, the dwell time is 5 seconds and can be adjusted. The Relay tab allows us to activate a designated dry contact on one of our door stations or on the IXWMA relay. For example, if this were in an office where I can see the front door, I could use this feature to open the door for a coworker or a delivery person. In the upper right corner, there is a button that allows us to edit the speed dial settings for the user. You can edit speed dials, such as changing a speed dial's name or the station it's calling. You can delete a speed dial. You can also add a speed dial. This will open a new pop-up window allowing us to give it a name and choose what function we want to perform. If it is a call or page, you can determine the level. You would then select a station and hit OK. In this example, we'll not be creating a new speed dial. At the top of the menu, we have the page button that will open the page window. At the moment, we just have all page set up. If we had additional paging zones, we would then select between them. You can then determine if this is a normal page or a message page. A message page allows you to have a pre-recorded sound file that can be played over the paging system, such as a lockdown in place message. Before sending the message, you can preview it and determine how many times you want the message to repeat. Finally, you would click either page or urgent page depending on the level required. Below page is monitor, which is like the monitor section in the favorites window. The difference is that the list will show you all stations that can be monitored. For example, if we monitor the lunchroom door, it will open up. When we stop monitoring, it will bring us back to the favorites window. If we open up Monitor again, we can click on Scan Monitor that will again start monitoring from one station to the next. The next button is Dial. This is used if I want to dial a specific station by just entering its station number. In this example, if I dial 102, it pulls up the shipping door. The address book displays every station in the iXoft's address book. Simply locate the desired station from the list and choose your calling level. History will show us the history of what stations have called in. We can scroll down and select an event and then play the video. You can scroll down through the events. It will record up to 999 events. In addition to the incoming calls, you can also look at outgoing calls, missed calls, and any recordings that we've made. We'll click back to get back to the main page. Status allows us to see if the station in the iXoft address book are online. They are being pinged on a regular basis to ensure the stations are online. If the station would go offline, we would get a notification and it would indicate it on the list. Device Check tests the unit's speaker, microphone, and contacts. This is manually done by clicking the Device Check button. Settings allows us to change the settings for the iXoft. This can be done in the user level or in the admin level. We click on the user. Call would allow us to change those settings related to making a call such as how long a call will ring before it times out or the ringback tone that will occur. In communication, we can change the timeout or turn on the push-to-talk mode. 
Transfer allows us to adjust those settings. Paging allows us to set up the paging timer. In Monitor, we can add or remove stations from the scan monitor list, as well as set the dwell time. We can also adjust the monitor timeout or change it to infinite. In Record, you can adjust where the recordings are stored. You can choose under what condition the recordings are made. You can select from Call, Communication, and Monitor. Volume settings control speaker and ringtone volumes. Speed dial again allows us to edit, delete, or add additional speed dial buttons. The custom sound registry is neat in that it allows you to add a custom audio message. When we click on add message file, a new pop-up window will occur. Here we can type in a name or either select a file or record a file. Test one, two, three, four. I'll hit OK. Now we have this new sound file in our list. Preview allows us to listen to the file. If we needed to edit it, we would click Edit, and in this case, we will delete it. Anytime we make changes, we want to apply the changes. Device allows us to make changes to devices such as headset or cameras that are attached to the PC. We can test them to ensure everything is working properly. Initialization would allow us to return the IXOF to factory default. The transfer and privacy buttons allow us to turn on and off those features if they are set up. Now what makes the IXOF different from the IXMV7 is the map button. There's a separate video showing how to create and populate your map, so we'll not go into that in this video. When we click on map, it'll bring up a new window with a map. By default, the map will display names which can be turned off by clicking on the name display. Icons are interactive. If I click on the front desk, we can call, monitor, page, or activate a relay. Let's monitor. Now, if a station calls in, the icon would change, provided SIF functionality was turned on in the system. For example, if I click the door release button, we see the icon changes. If I press the talk button, the door icon will now indicate that it's in communication. If I click the door release again, we see that change. Let me end the call. If a station is selected, I can also use the buttons at the bottom of the screen to call at different levels. Normal, Priority, and Emergency. I can page, monitor, or activate a dry contact. Let me go outside this office and call in. The call comes through and I can answer it, but because the station is on the second floor, I'll need to change to the second floor map if I want to see any changes to the icons. It is showing that the door is in communication, and when I release the door, it shows on the map. With the maps, there is a top map that is the default map, and then you have up to nine maps underneath it. Now you can have as many top maps as you need. To get to the top map, we just need to click on the top button. With any of the maps, we can adjust the view of the map by adjusting the size or zooming in and out. That is a general overview of the iXoft, including the map function. For additional information, visit our website at www.aphone.com/home. Thanks for watching.